I'm clearly standing in front of a Mercedes, and most of you can tell by the headlights, it's an E-Class. It's not an E550, it's not the 350 gas motor, sadly it's also not the E63 AMG. It's a sedan, but if you listen closely, hear that? That's old school. Well, meets new school, because this is a 3 liter turbo diesel. It's the E350 Blue Tech. That means there's loads of power under here, and it means we're going to have a lot of fun pushing the pedal towards the floor until we hit that 4,500 RPM uh, fuel cutoff. It's the 2012 E350 Blue Tech Mercedes-Benz sedan. We're going to go take it for a spin. Before we hit the road, I want to show you something. Here's the engine. It makes 210 horses. That's not a lot for a car that weighs 4,059 pounds. It does, however, make 400 pound-feet of torque. And that's a lot. That's a lot of fun, too, because it makes it at around 1,600 RPMs up through about 2,500, and then eventually the fuel shuts off around 45, 4,600 RPM. So keep it in that range, keep your foot floored, and this thing will power down the road like a freight train. And now, after showing you that, now we're going to take it for a ride. So now that we're out on the road, what is it like here inside the cabin of this $52,000 base price car? It's comfortable. It's a Mercedes. What the hell do you think it's going to be like? It's, it's, got, it's a luxurious sedan. It's not a C-Class. It's not as svelte as an S-Class, but it is an E-Class. It's got nice infotainment sy systems right here. The nav screen is very crisp and nicely displayed. Uh, the buttons are easy to reach. The command system, which is Mercedes version of an iDrive, is simple and easy to use. There's no learning curve involved. The speedometer is very crisp and clean and easy to read. It's all very German stately sedan in here and it works nicely. But enough about the interior. This seat's comfortable. Um, that back seat's comfortable. It's a, it's a good size sedan. What you really want to know about because I know you, is the engine. So we're cruising along with the seven speed automatic gearbox lazily in D. I can flip a paddle and just push it down to a four. I want to slow down a little bit. Let's go actually go to three and feel the thrust. And there it is. And it's pretty awesome. Now, this is a heavy car, but it's surprisingly nimble. I mean, it's a Mercedes, the suspension's compliant. The steering feels not quite as good as BMW, but it's good. Um, it's no Audi through the corners with the all-wheel drive system. Uh, we do wish that we could defeat traction control to have a little bit of diesel burnout excitement, but that button's missing. All we've got is comfort and sport, or E and S, whatever the hell that stands for. We have it in an S right now because we're driving enthusiastically on one of our favorite roads that's devoid of traffic. And there's nothing dramatic, though it really, when you get into a turn a little hot, you don't feel drama, but something in the front wheels, I believe it's with the traction control system, is being relayed to the steering wheel that's saying, hey, if I wasn't here to help you right now, you would just understeer into that bush. It's a little unnerving that you can feel some sensations coming up through the wheel, but I mean, you just hold on, power through them, and the car goes on through. When you're not driving like this, just gliding down the highway, this thing is, a, is just a, a long distance cruiser. Everyone's gonna be comfortable. You can get up to speed and stay there while getting good fuel economy, because this is a turbo diesel. So, what have we been doing in terms of fuel economy? Well, over the course of our time with the, the E350 Blue Tech, we're actually getting about 34 miles per gallon, and that's in a mix of driving. Um, we've put nearly 500 miles on the car, which is a lot for a, a term with one of our press cars, but we had some driving to do. We went to see the San Diego Wild Animal Park. We went up and back to LA. We just had general day-to-day -day fun stuff to do, and over the course of that, maybe we got in some canyon carving time like this. So we can get fuel economy to drop down to 20s in terms of instant fuel economy, and we can push it well past 40 if we set the cruise control and just cruise down the highway. That's how we wound up at 34 miles per gallon. And that's a hell of a number for a 4,000 pound luxury German sedan, a number we can live with all day long. So what would you compare this to since we're talking price and class and all that stuff? There's really nothing else out there. Audi's bringing more and more diesels over. Uh, 
BMW has a few diesels, but there's nothing like driving a Mercedes. It's got that old school badge up front on the hood, which makes us feel like we're a dictator storming through the desert country country somewhere. And that's, that's a fun feeling, <laughs> taking over a country. So you know you're about to win when you wanna take over that country, because all you do, like we said before, is put your foot down, feel that diesel power, and when you get up, just a little bit in the rev range, shift to the next gear, and you're away. This is things a blast.